Introducing the U.S. Philippines Peso Silver Coin Series, 1903 to 1912. These American minted coins made for the Philippine Islands are steeped in history and intrigue. There were actually two different varieties to this Philippine peso set. Variety 1 was minted from 1903 through 1906. These coins were originally struck on Morgan dollar planchets from either the Philadelphia or the San Francisco mints. Each contains 26.956 grams of 90% silver with a specific silver weight of 0 0.780 ounces. Its diameter is 38.1 millimeters. Its thickness is 2.4 millimeters. The edges are reeded. The coin rim is denticulated, meaning finely toothed or notched. Then there is variety 2 coins minted from 1907 through 1912. They contain 20 grams of 80% silver with a specific silver weight of 0.514 ounces. They have a diameter of 35 millimeters. Their edges are reeded. The coin rim is denticulated. Only the first two years had minting from the Philadelphia and the San Francisco mints respectively. All other years for this coinage were exclusively minted at the San Francisco Mint, each bearing the S mint mark just below the dot to the left of the date. Any coinage without a mint mark was created at the Philadelphia Mint. Regardless of the variety, the actual design has remained the same. The obverse, which was designed by the Philippine sculptor and artist Melicio Figueroa, sometimes referred to as the Prince of Filipino Engravers, displays a young Filipina girl in a flowing dress resting a hammer held in her right hand atop an anvil. In her raised left arm she holds an olive branch. In the background is the Mount Mayon volcano with billowing smoke emitting from its crater. Mount Mayon is considered one of the most active and dangerous volcanoes in the Philippines. It is well known for its almost perfect conical shape. Along the top edge you will find the inscription of the coin's denomination 1 peso, and along the lower edge is the inscription Filipinas, which is the name for the archipelago in Spanish. The reverse displays the arms of the U.S. Territory's shield. A broad-winged eagle clutching an olive branch in its right claw and a bunch of arrows in its left, sitting atop a shield divided into two registers. The upper register has 13 stars, and the lower register has 13 vertical stripes. The date appears at the bottom, and United States of America appears at the top. To the left of the year may be a mint mark of S for San Francisco. Coins with no mint marks were minted at the Philadelphia Mint. The entire set consists of the following. So, a total of 12 coins and the collection is complete. However, getting the 1906 might be a little difficult. You see, the standards for the first four years of coins had been established during an historic low point in the price of silver, and in 1905, silver values started to rise dramatically. By the end of the year, the bullion value of this silver coinage actually exceeded its face value. Consequently, all the coins began to rapidly disappear either through hoarding or from people melting down the coins for its higher bullion value. Only pesos were coined for circulation during 1906 
and there was a total of 201,000 minted, but nearly all of these were held back from circulation and were melted down, making this coin the rarest in the series. It is estimated that only a few hundred are believed to still be in existence, so realistically most sets will only consist of 11 coins. Beginning in 1907, the U.S. Philippine peso was reduced in diameter from 38.1 millimeters to 35 millimeters and in silver content from 90% to 80%, thus creating what we know today as the variety 2 type peso coins. During the initial World War II Japanese occupation of the Philippine Islands, more than 15 million pesos in silver coins were removed from the treasury at Manila, crated up and dumped into Caballo Bay to prevent it from falling into the hands of the Japanese forces. Much of this coinage has since been recovered, but its condition is extremely poor. My thoughts about the U.S. Philippines silver peso coin. This is by far one of my favorite numismatic silver collections. Every time I'm in the Philippines, I take time to frequent the local coin shops and call up some of my contacts for a night of Imperador shots and a case or two of San Miguel Light. There is something about this series that really intrigues me. The coins were Philippine money, but every coin in this series was minted in the United States at either the San Francisco or Philadelphia mints. On my last trip to the Philippines, I picked up six coins in this set. A 1903 S, a 1904 S, a 1905 S, a 1907 S, a 1909 S, and the key date 1911s. Many dates are common but the 1911s and 1912s are considered scarce and referred to as key dates for this series. The 1911s peso has the second lowest mintage at 436,000 coins. As mintage is an important factor in determining rarity, it is not the only determining factor. As I mentioned earlier, the vast majority of pesos did not circulate and remained in the vaults of the Philippine Treasury, and most of these pesos were dumped into Caballo Bay to keep them out of the hands of the invading Japanese forces. This has unfortunately resulted in a significant reduction in the number of higher graded 1911S and 1912S peso coins being available. Also, please be mindful that the 1906 S, which is the rarest of the coins in this series, is very commonly forged. If you come across one, make sure you know how to tell the difference. One of the reasons I put the weight, diameter, and thickness of the coins I review in my videos is to remind the community to always be vigilant and check your coins for forgeries. The obverse of this coin has an aura of elegance about it. It is said that Blanca, the daughter of the coin designer Milicio Figueroa, may have been the inspiration for Lady Liberty, the Filipina on the obverse with the long hair and flowing dress. Her striking an anvil with a hammer is thought to represent the hard-working nature of the Philippine people and their efforts to establish a progressive nation. The reverse seems much more official and legitimate, with the symbol for the arms of the U.S. Territory's shield on it. Any coinage with an eagle, stars, and stripes on it makes me feel like it's a genuine item of value. The combination of these two sides together makes this coin one of my absolute favorites. What are your thoughts about the U.S. Philippines silver peso coin design? Let me know in the comments section below. A big thank you to all who support this channel and watch my content. If you enjoy my content, 
then please be sure to hit the like button because it helps this video to be ranked higher in the search results so that others can enjoy it as well. Also, if you want to be notified as soon as I post up new content, you can select the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Feel free to share this content as well.